Garrett Cotter. You have been found guilty of firing at Her Majesty's troops and have been sentenced for life. I'm scared and feel sick knowing I have to leave my family and friends to board a ship for 18 months to a foreign country and I'm only 19. Ong Yong, an Aboriginal elder, helped me save the cattle from the drought today. He guided me across the river to a paddock of healthy green pastures. I couldn't have done it without him. I had been granted a ticket of leave, which meant I had a bit more freedom. But I stole a horse from the neighbouring property and fled from the farm. I returned later on and confessed that I did it. As a result, they've sent me here, to live beyond the limits of location. It has taken some time to be accepted by the natives, but because of my resourcefulness, they have welcomed me into their tribe. I have built a hut and made this place my home. I wonder if in the future, the cotters that come after me appreciate this land as much as I have. Because of my good work, I have been granted a conditional pardon, which has made me a free man anywhere in the world, except for the United Kingdom and Ireland. I'm never to return to my homeland. In 1841, Cotter married and had nine children who carried his name on for generations. Sadly, in 1886, Garrett Cotter's life came to an end, but his name lives on.